we're out of town and you can see all the traffic we have that's it I mean that's that's busy for Walla Walla right there this here is what Walla Walla was built on is wheat and you can see that it's when they talk about seas of amber waves of grain that's it baby and whoever this farmer is they're uh, very good now this is what I want to show you a water tank over here when if you come into Walla Walla from Dayton looks just like this uh, let's see I believe that's a water tank okay like, but it's got this really cool I can see here. What the hell? It's got. It says, "Welcome to historic Walla Walla." Let's see. There we go. I the, the glare. I can't see a thing with this glare. But that's what that looks like right there. And you can see. You can see the traffic. This is Walla Walla traffic at high noon. That's it. There's, there's just nothing right there. And here's the traffic coming the other way. Now we're about a mile, well probably two miles from the city center. But I wanted to show you what it looks, what this welcoming work of art looks like. It's just totally beautiful. Now what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the town proper. We're gonna go up into these foothills right here in this place called Scenic Loop. It's a small gravel road right over here, but it offers an, an excellent view of Walla Walla Town. And let's see what it looks like uh, Walla Walla at 1.30 on a Sunday. Okay, this wheat will be cut very soon, so I wanted to show you before it was cut. Okay, let's go to Scenic Loop and see if we can see Walla Walla.